Right, okay, so hopefully my sound actually works today. We'll see. Right, welcome to Advent of Code, day 11. Uh, so I probably won't talk very much during the actual uh, like uh, game here, but uh, yeah. Uh, we have about two minutes to go, so I'll kind of just do a quick run through of the things that I do here. Uh, I use Python, so here's my text editor on this side. This is actually two monitors. I know it looks like one big wide monitor, but it's really just two monitors. I got Advent of Code up here. I got a terminal up here uh, running an auto run script, which basically just you know runs this every time I save. Uh, I save my script, right? So every time I run, save it, it kind of reruns the script for me. Um, I got all of my uh, Advent of Code stuff over here. Um, just a file browser, just in case. I don't think I've ever actually used it. And I got a bunch of utilities that I import, uh, you know, regular expressions, iter tools for fancy, you know, generator iter iteration stuff, default dict and counter from collections, OS and sys because those are, you know, usually useful, LRU cache for caching and memoization, um, <clears throat> uh, MD5 hash, I don't think I've actually used that, multiprocessing pool, also don't usually use that, but hey, you know, useful if I need it. Um, and a custom function to just grab the um, grab the input automatically, you know, using a web request. Uh, and then this third-party parse module, which lets me parse things a little bit nicer. Um, it uses kind of a format string-ish uh, syntax to parse things a little nicer than usual. Um, then we just got uh, some connectivity stuff in case they do 2D graph things um, and a breadth for search and an implementation of Dijkstra. Um, plus, uh, you know, starter code for today's emulator. I haven't really done a whole lot of prep on the emulator, so if it's an emulator-based problem today or like an assembly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, um, and then, you know, just some input parsing stuff. It's just mostly template boilerplate stuff that's uh, not actually too interesting. So that's my, my very simple starter code library. So we got about 30 seconds to go, so just get comfy and get ready. Yeah, so as soon as this thing starts, I'm going to save my file and then let it grab my input and then open the problem. Okay, it's a grid thing today, isn't it? So the grid is going to be useful. Uh, print grid. Let's say uh, my layout, something like this. Um, okay, so... Oh gosh, this is uh, some sort of um, oh, this is some sort of game of life thing.
this is not going to be good. Uh, Okay, uh, crap, okay, uh, Oh my god.
Okay. Phew. Uh... Brutal. All right, well, that's it for today. That was hard. Brutal, 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 brutal. I could have definitely done that better. Oh well, well, uh, I guess the I got 13th and 23rd. Eh, not awful, but definitely could have been could have turned in a better performance there. Oh well, okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.